to fix some iPhone 6s with no image and no backlight because we're doing a holiday sale. We are dropping the price on our 6s, no image, no backlight to 99 bucks. So if you've got one that has no image or no backlight, it's detected by iTunes. Maybe you didn't disconnect the battery when you were changing the screen. Maybe it had a drop and now you put a screen on it and you don't see anything on it, but it's detected by iTunes. Then you are in the category for an iPhone 6S display problem, which we're doing for 99 bucks on sale. So let me show you what that looks like. We're gonna do a couple of them. Why are we doing a sale? Because I am tired of all of this really, really hard stuff that comes our way all the time. All kinds of prior repair attempts, all kinds of, you know, really, really difficult data recoveries sitting here scraping the mask off of CPUs. And I need something easy. I need an easy cue. I need some connectors. I need some backlights, something to bring us holiday joy by being easy to fix. So we're going to do a sale. So let's look at the first one and I'll show you guys what does it, um, you know, how we approach these, these jobs. So let's take a look at this one under the microscope. So we're going to turn on the old microscope camera and this is the first one up. So whenever I get one in, I check three things right off the bat because those are the common signature faults. So let's get out the good old multimeter. And the first thing I'm going to do is check to see is there a short to ground on the backlight anode line. So I test that by putting my multimeter in diode mode and I put a probe here on ground, red probe on ground, and then I'm gonna to go to the backlight anode line pin, which is right there, and get a reading. And my multimeter says 0.525. That is normal, so that tells me there's not a short to ground and it also tells me that my backlight filter is good because if the backlight filter which lives right here where is he right there if that guy is blown up then i'm going to get an open line and i'll have a really high diode mode reading so really quickly with that one measurement we can tell do we have a short to ground on the line in which case we got to go hunt down why or do we have an open line, in which case it's probably going to be the filter needs to be replaced. This one is normal, so it doesn't have a backlight problem. So then we're going to check for the other two common reasons why you'd have no image. Next, we're going to check to see whether or not we have a blown image filter. And the image filter lives on this middle guy right here. So all we need to do is just kind of clear off a little bit of the silicon over, overfill there. And I'm going to put a probe here on the end of him and say, do we have continuity through that guy to pin one, two, three, four from the end? Do we get a beep? We do. So that tells us that the image filter is good. So a lot of times image filter gets blown on iPhone 6S and that's not the case for this one. So we're going to check for the third most common problem, which is our... Um, one of our image power lines that tends to go bad. And it's the 5v7 line here. So I'm gonna put a probe on ground and check for short to ground on that 5v7 image power line. And we're gonna use this little cap here on the end to test that and let's find out. So we have ground on one side and the other side, what does diode mode say? Zero, zero, zero. So that tells us, aha, we have a signature failure on the image power line. There's a short to ground because we're getting zero resistance to ground on both sides of that cap. So what's the problem? We have a short to ground that's caused by any cap or chip that's on that line. And there's a handful of them up here by the connector. So the short to ground could be caused by um, any of these caps that are up here by the connector, so this is one of them. Oh, look, here's a little shard of glass. This one, or the one that's exposed here, or the one that's next to it. There's a filter under there, so not him, um, or the cap that's on the other side of the filter, that guy. Now, if it's not any of them, then our problem is going to be over here by the chestnut chip that generates that power rail. So let's put our eyes on that and see if we can see, you know, hey, is something look, look bur burned or water damaged under here? So we'll take a peek. Let's look behind door number one. 
All right, so our other alternative is that the source of the short is within or under chestnut itself or the cap that is adjacent to chestnut. So out of those, we don't see any physical damage that's really going to be a guide. So I'm going to go with, let's just um, pick which is the most common cap that fails. Now, any, I've seen all of them fail, but the one that fails most commonly is this guy here on the end. So I'm going to use some mini hot tweezers and take them off and see if that relieves the short to ground. So let's find out. Let's find out. We're going to fire that up. And let's see if anybody has joined us here on, on chat. All right, a bunch of hello everybody from around the world. All right, and we got to vote for chestnut. I don't think so. All right, let's see, is it this cap? So we're going to remove the cap and find out. We're going to get him off. Well, it's a little tough to get a cap off with mini hot tweezers when it is on a shorted line because that means both sides of him are ground and ground requires extra heat. So it's a little bit tough, but it should come along. Are these tweezers on? Yes. There we go. All right, so cap is off. And we'll stick him down over here. All right, now let's find out. Do we still have a short to ground? Yay or nay? All right, let's check. All right, we are getting a zero on one side, and now our diode mode reading is 0.541 on that line. Bingo, we got him on the first try. I love, love, love these signature failures that make my job easy, which is why we are putting these repairs on sale so that we can get more easy repairs so that we can all be happy. You can get your phone fixed um, for cheap, and we can get some easy repair in the door so that we're not killing ourselves constantly with all of these really tough rabbit holes that we see all day, every day. All right, let's stick this back together and see if it has a display. And then we'll move on to case number two. All right, let's check this out. All right is I need to get some easy repairs done so that I can go to the grocery store and get a turkey to cook for Thanksgiving, which is in a couple of days here. And we have all of a sudden, instead of just having eight people to cook for, we have like 20 people. So we gotta get busy. Let's see what you guys have to say in chat about your favorite Thanksgiving traditions. All right, we're gonna <coughs> plug a screen in. So we've got a screen plugged in and we are gonna prompt to boot. Yay, ta-da, display is working. So let's see if this comes up to full display and then we'll put that one in the done pile. Easy repairs, love the easy repairs. Send us your easy repairs. All right, uh, boot. Boot all the way, yo. All right. Press home to upgrade. Okay, so it's come up to the standard lock screen and it has normal display. Great, so we're gonna move that one into the done pile for reassembly. Image short is solved. All right, let's do door number two. So this is the next one here in the image backlight problem for iPhone 6s. All right, so we're gonna, ooh, well this one you can tell right away what this is gonna be because this board was sent, this phone was sent board and back housing, which is perfectly fine. 
However, it was sent with the battery connected. So that's almost a sure tell that this is going to be a blown backlight filter because you can't really do anything with a device with the battery connected. So if you're disconnecting, connecting screens with the battery still connected, that's a great way to blow your iPhone 6S backlight filter. So we're gonna do our same three tests. So let's take a look. Let's take a look here. So this one we can see right off the bat that it has a blown filter just from physical exam. So where is he? Right there. You can even see this like heat marks up on the camera. See that heat? There was a big explosion here. Now this one's going to be tough because there's a lot of char, which means it will almost be, um, it would be a shocker to me if we can get that charred carcass of a filter off the board without pulling the pads. When it's burned like that with such a big explosion, it welds itself, not soldered, but weld to the actual pads. And it's uh, almost impossible to get it off without pulling the pads, but that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do those same diode mode tests. So we are gonna put a red probe on ground and we're gonna check our pin two here. And the reading we get is OL, open line. So like we said before, it's not short to ground, it's open line. Why? Because the filter is obviously blown. Now while we're here, we can check our other spots. So let's go ahead and check on that image filter. A lot of times the image filter is blown when you get a big explosion like that at the backlight filter. So we're gonna test. Do we have continuity from the image filter through to pin four? We do, and then we will check for our image line short to ground, so red probe in here, and we're going to measure diode mode, and we get, um, let's see, let me get a probe in there. We get, um, it's climbing up from 0 0.425, 428, 429, 430, so that's going to be normal. <coughs> All right, so that means we have a problem that we know the image filter, so we're going to go ahead and try to get that off and we'll see how we do. First, I'm going to give myself some room to work. So I'm going to pull this camera flex out of the way and tape it back so that we can clear out that area and see what we're dealing with. Now, if we do end up with missing pads, we cannot just jump. That's a common question we get at practical board repair school. Can I just jump the filter? If the filter's gone, why not just stick a wire there? And the, the way I answer that is uh, not on a 6S. You can't do that on a, on a 6S because the likelihood that this phone is going to go on to have another day and have another cracked screen is high. And then the likelihood that that cracked screen repair is gonna go to somebody who still thinks you can change screens without disconnecting the battery is also high given the number of folks around that, that kind of don't believe in disconnecting the battery. So if you have a wire there, the filter can't blow to protect the circuit. And the next time somebody does the exact same operation, changing the screen without disconnecting the battery, if there's a wire because you jumped the filter, that means you're going to have a short to ground go all the way back and blow up your diode and cause a big train wreck under the shield in an area of really tight clearance. So that's kind of screwing the customer um, because they could, depending on where they are, they may not have access to micro soldering service or be unaware, in which case they are gonna then lose their whole phone just because you jumped the filter. All right, so we're gonna use some low heat and try to dig out a little bit and see what we have to work with. So I can see the charred remnant of the anode side pad. And then I've got the big blob of what's left of the filter, which is really just a piece of carbon now. And that is just dangling by a thread there on the other connector side trace. So we're gonna try to get that off, but that without tearing up the pad and leaving us nothing to solder to, but it will definitely be a challenge. Yeah, that seems pretty impossible. We'll see. 
a little bit of solder ball that came out of the filter when it decided to take a hike when it shuffled off its mortal coil all right that's good enough all right get some of that out of there all right let's see can we de-weld this? We'll see. Come on, come on, mini hot tweezers. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you can do with this. All right, so I'm gonna put some solder on them to help them transfer heat as best they can. All right, Chris Long's working on a 6S with a 200 ohm PCC main short after barbell, barbell damage. Aha, uh -huh. look at that filter. Look at that, what's left of that filter. That is just some kind of lava. There is nothing left. Okay, let's see if we can use metal that's left in the board that was once that was once a pad they're not really pads anymore they're just too degraded all right seems pretty miraculous that it looks like we were able to save the pad and then this one is gonna be kind of a little stalactite or is it stalagmite which is the one that stands up from the ground I bet Christy knows. I've been told that the lag mite is the one that comes from the ground because they both have seeds. I mean, they both have G's. Look at that. Yeah. Christy Dryden for the win. So Christy, are you playing? You probably would be really good at that, that trivia game, HQ, the little app where you play trivia. I don't know that one. Yeah, yeah you probably, probably rock that. All right, so we, the, the other pad is pretty much just a little nugget, but we're gonna try to solder to it. All we care about is completing the circuit with a filter to act like a fuse for in the future. All right. Okay. All right, so let's get a new filter in there. The barbell might be conductive. All right, so we are going to attempt to solder to the stalagmite. Is that the right one? The one from the ground, stalagmite? Yeah, I think so, because it's stalagmite and stalactite, right? Right, stalactite has a C, like the word ceiling. Yeah. Ah, stalactite, stalactite, C ceiling. There you go, learned something today. He's gonna deliver. He sure is. That's fucking amazing. I was thinking if amazing. I was here, I would play dumb girl. Can you show me how? Oh God. <laughs> dumb for me. But as soon as it's done, let me know and I will call and deliver that. Okay. When when is he coming? Because I have to go pick up the girls. Oh, we didn't say. So you're leaving soon. It's 3:30. Oh uh, yeah, I'm leaving like super soon. Christy, how long are you here? Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go grocery shop for Thanksgiving. I need to buy a turkey. Is it too late to buy a frozen turkey? No, fine. It's fine? Stick it in the dishwasher. I can bring Stick it in the dishwasher? Yeah. That sounds disgusting. Good. Great, how can I help you? Maybe we should have Sunday live stream for Thanksgiving tips. Yeah, Thanksgiving prep with Sunday. Dishwasher, dishwasher turkey. We have a 6S backlight special right now. Yes, we do. $99. You too can get your stuff uh, fixed. Uh, Chris Long says, I remember tight because it holds tight to the roof. All right. 
So let's see what our diode mode reading is now. I'm not sure that we have good connection on the right side here, but let's find out. All right, so we're gonna stick a probe here on ground and check. Point three seven and it's coming up. Point three eight five. As the board cools, then the resistance will go up. Point three nine six. So I'd like it to be about point five. So that's a little bit a little bit unclear. All right. So for this one, I'm going to give it a try, and we're going to find out whether or not it has a connection with a test with a screen so that we can get the fastest answer. We'll see whether or not this is going to work. There goes Master Quarter Sunday asking all the right questions. All right, let's test. Make sure you monitor the temperature. We are going to do a turkey in the smoker. That is the best turkey ever. But it's not gonna work if it's frozen. All right, let's see what happens. See if we can get two easy ones. Love easy repairs. Don't you just love easy repairs? Straightforward stuff, signature problems, love easy repairs. All right, let's see. Do we have a screen? Oh, looks good. All right, so let's let that boot up and then we will be done. All right, so we do one every Thanksgiving. The, the frying thing, I thought that burned your house down. See. All right, so backlight image, yay! All right, so let's see. Oh, that's not the right passcode. This looks like we have full brightness, full display, or we're on the emergency screen. That's kind of hard to see. Whoa, green screen is wigging out. All right, so that one is another success so there we go now it's, that's the lock screen well that's really weird the green screen the green screen phone does it like yeah there we go all right okay so there we go that is another super quick easy straightforward backlight repair yay love our straightforward easy repairs and we want more of them so we want for you to send us your straightforward 6S image or backlight problems. We will get them done. We're gonna do one, there's, a, there's one coming in tomorrow. We're gonna do it same day, get it sent back out the same day so that if you had this happen to you and you need your phone right away, then give us a shout at ipadrehab.com, click start repair and send us a little information, pack up your phone and we will get this turned around for you right away with our $99 image backlight solution for 6s on our holiday sale and i will see the rest of you guys later it's time to go buy a turkey <laughs>